All right, Peter. So you're obviously a believer in Cobalt, hence the name of your company, CBLT. Obviously, that's not standing for chicken, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich. So oh, that's, that sounds good, though. It does sound good. I'm, it is lunchtime. Might get one of those after this. But listen, so why why care about Cobalt at all? Why not just focus on gold? There's lots, there's lots of other things out there to focus on. Why should anyone, including myself or other investors, care about Cobalt? Well, in 2016, I tried to figure out lithium. I looked at the Solars, I looked at Spotamine, we looked at Pegmatites. And at that time, I had real trouble finding a lithium property of value. But if you look at lithium and you look at batteries, you instantly find cobalt. You have your cell phone handy? Sure do, right here. Like I've got a wireless speaker. There's more cobalt than lithium in here. It's huh. called a lithium ion battery only by a trick of physics. The lithium releases the ion to go from the cathode to the anode and recharge back and forth but there's more cobalt than lithium in your device. If we are going to greenify the world, we are going to need cobalt. Why do we care about it? Because roughly 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the Congo, the poor attacked maligned Congo. It's people have been under attack since Leopold the butcher showed up a hundred and some years ago, but it has roughly $25 trillion of mineral wealth. As a result, there's conflict, supply chain issues, artisanal mining, child mining. And if ever you're feeling really good and you want to feel bad, go find the um, Amnesty International movie called This Is What We Die For. And it's about child mining, uh, mining by children in the Congo artisanally. And it's just terrifying and sad. Okay. So we need a better supply chain for cobalt. There is one primary cobalt mine in the world located in Morocco. It produces less than 1% of the world's cobalt. I think last year it produced 0.6% of the world's cobalt. Wow. So cobalt is a byproduct of other minerals. So you have to find an economic deposit and get the cobalt as well. Yeah. These, all, these stresses all put uh, pressure on the supply chain for cobalt. Cobalt started the year 2021 at $30,000 a ton. It's currently about 55,000 for three months delivery out. So you're looking at roughly a 75% gain, uh, both due to lithium rising and the supply chain issues with cobalt. You want to drive an EV? You need cobalt. You want to have a cell phone? Cobalt. cobalt. Anything yeah. rechargeable from your weed whacker in your backyard to the tools you use in the basement, all need cobalt. All right. Well, yeah, I guess I've never really thought about it that way. And, and, and I've looked at this with other minerals, say like copper too. So this is something I guess I'm somewhat familiar with. It's a very similar story and that the supply is just not there. But I guess the real big difference with cobalt is the supply chains that already exist are terrible, right? Terrible. I, I, didn't, I didn't think about the human element at play here, but you know, this is, this is one of the things, not to get too deep on it, but one of the reasons why people knock, knock, I guess, the capitalistic lifestyle, right? Is they mm -hmm. say, well, you're taking advantage of this, these things, not understanding where they come from and the, and the tragedies tied to them. And I think it, to some degree, it's, it's largely our responsibility is, hey, we want these things. Well, it's like, okay, we'll put better systems in place so everybody's benefiting and nobody's right. suffering so that we can get batteries for our cell phones or our damn cars. Right. We miners and explorers have an ESG obligation. Social... Uh, do social good, do environmental good. I was on an airplane heading down to a producing mine for a due diligence visit. And the lady next to me found out I was a miner. She laid into me, you guys. Ah, 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 ah. I said, whoa, whoa, we're building a library. We have $30 million biodome where we're saving local animals. And when the mine's gone, we re-release them. We've improved the port. This town will be a better place when we're gone for us having been here. And that's the obligation of miners. It's like in Canada, first thing you do when you get a new property, contact First Nations. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm in your backyard. What can I do to help you? First thing you do every time. And we as miners mm -hmm. owe that responsibility. So if you look at cobalt, the pain that's being suffered in it, we have an obligation to find better sources of cobalt so we can greenify the world. Yeah, yeah, you make a very good point there. And, and you know, you know, Peter, getting down to it, I think a lot of it has to do with a, the Hollywood version of what people view miners as. Because obviously, yeah. a lot of movies, you could say, like, uh, what's that real big one? Avatar paints it as in coming into an indigenous entire planet, in that case, to get uh, unobtainium. Blood, blood diamonds, right? With Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Yeah. Right? Everybody in mining is a horrible human being. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it, there's definitely a lot more nuance to it than the movies paint, and things have improved lately too. I think that's that's a good point. Mining is not a stagnated industry. Uh, hell, I mean, mining is using a lot of new technology to decrease costs to make things greener and so on every day. You got real people really trying to make this a, a much greener industry, and I think what people need to understand at the backbone of it is it's necessary. It's one of the most necessary industries, especially if we want this EV, this green revolution, this battery revolution it's going to be one of the most necessary things we're trying to get rid of petrol for it so i think it's very important so peter you did a great yep. job walking us through cobalt is there anything else you want to add before we go if it didn't come out of the ground and if it didn't have a mummy or a daddy then it was mined it was extracted the railing behind you in the library the wire rim on your glasses your laptop your phone everything was extracted from the ground and it's our job to make sure it's done responsibly very well said, Peter. Well, thank you again for coming on. Go get yourself a chicken, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich after this. I will do the same. And everybody, don't be afraid to get your own. But thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments about Cobalt or anything else CBLT is working with, let us know and we'll happily dive into it. But for now, stay tuned. We'll get you another video and some more news across the wire as soon as it comes in. Peter, take it easy. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm.